my dear beautiful and elegant ladies welcome back to my channel today we will be talking about different styles that flatters the hourglass body shape what to wear and what not to wear and make sure you stay tuned until the end because i will be giving you an extra tip on the best fabrics for the hourglass body shape this is so important because you need to know you need to take into consideration both the draft of the fabric and the style you don't want to miss that so you stick around welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in for those who are new my name is benita an image consultant personal stylist and style educator at Nat nolan image consulting on my channel we mainly talk about personal branding, image building, fashion and styling tips. We also do a bit of beauty. So by the end of this video and you like what you see, you want to see more content like this, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to join the family as well as turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I post new content. Today's video is for the hourglass. So if you don't know what your body shape is, then you will have to go check my first series body shape video on how to determine your body shape. What I'm going to do is to put a link to that below this description box. So please go check it out, watch it and come back here. If you already know your body shape, you are welcome. My goal in this video is not to tell you what not to wear or to make every lady watching it an hourglass body shape. That is not what this video is about. What I'm trying to do is to show you how you can maximize your asset and conceal that part you don't want people to see. So how do you know you're an hourglass body shape? If your bust and hips are roughly the same width, this is when you have your shoulder on the same level as your hips with a well-defined waist. So think if your bust measurement is 38 inches and your hips are 38 inches, your waist measurement is 8 to 10 inches smaller than your bust and your hips. Then your waist is going to be nipped in like 28 inches, making your waist clearly and well defined. The hourglass body shape can be split into two. We have the full hourglass, which is for someone who is curvier. These are the plus size women. And we have the neat hourglass, which is for someone that has an average body shape like the slim women. If you have an hourglass body shape, you are so lucky. It's the most feminine shape. The shape we all think is sexy, the figure eight shape, and it's the shape that all other body types are trying to sort of give the illusion of having. So when styling this body shape, it's important you maintain the same proportion on your outfit. So what are the guidelines for dressing the hourglass body shape? The guidelines is to, follow its, is, is to follow its natural curve, to follow these two keys. Define your waist and follow its natural shape by proportionally dressing the top and the bottom. And make sure you don't unbalance the body frame by making it either top or bottom heavy. This shape is naturally balanced and well proportioned. So when styling this shape, your goal is to avoid imbalance and make sure you showcase your waist and let your natural curve speak for themselves. And the only way to achieve this is to choose simple and clean outfits. So what should hourglass shaped body be wearing? Basically, the hourglass can wear everything and really they look so amazing wearing all, any clothes that emphasizes their waist or use a belt or clothes that are fitted but not too tight. In terms of necklines, we are looking at off-shoulder necks, sweetheart necks, square necks, scoop necks, and v-necks. If you want to show off your boss, go for a lower and wider neckline, like scoop necks and sweetheart necks. Round necks, oval necks, and boot necks. These are slightly round necklines and are perfect to use if you don't want to draw attention to the bust area. Avoid necklines that eat high on the neck, like turtleneck, 
What this necklace do is to draw attention away from the waist. Also, you want to avoid adding unnecessary volume to the neckline, like embellishments at the neckline. This will unbalance your natural shape. For your tops or shirts, the first thing that should come to your mind is fit. Look for tops that will show off your waist and maintain your natural curves. Your tops should be fitted and nipped in at the waist without adding bulk to your chest. You want to look for crop tops, wrap tops, strapless tops, off shoulder tops, short peplum tops, better tops and form fitted tops with that. These are all lovely tops that will show off your beautiful curves. But if if you're that type that doesn't want to show off your curves, choose tops that extend right to your hip bone. This helps to skim over the curves, making you to look thinner. Avoid big ruffles, bows, or tops with embellishment that would add a lot of volume to your upper body, unless you had some volume to your hips to balance it out. What I'm trying to say is that if you choose to wear tops with ruffles, or bows, you will have to balance the lower body too. Also, stay clear of extra bulk on the waist, which will hide your natural slimness. For your dress, you have to know that your curves are made for dresses, so have some fun. Just stick to styles that would highlight your waist and not hide your waist. And always consider your midsection as a focal point. You don't want your curves to go lost in loose or baggy clothes. So your dress should basically draw focus to your waist without adding extra volume to the bust. Your powerful dresses are wrap dresses with a waistline, belted and nip dresses, shift dress with a belt around the waist, back tie, back tie styles, sheet and tailor cut dresses, dresses with vertical lines, feet and flare dresses, and strapless dresses will suit your shape. Also, your dresses should fall just below the knee or knee length. If you want to appear curvaceous, add a bit of volume both your bust and your hips through ruffles, embellishment or pockets. And if you don't want to show off your curves, you want to downplay it, look for dresses in dark colors or vertical stripes. Avoid dresses with straight lines or bossy cut. What these dresses do to your shape is that they cover your curvedness or they cover your curves and make you appear heavy and stay clear of dresses that has embellishment or pockets around the hips or shoulder area. Then with your trousers, you can wear most styles of trousers, but wide legs will emphasize your waist and your trousers should be mid-waisted, loose fitting and wide leg trousers that go straight down to the floor like boot cuts this will balance your hips. Since the hourglass tend to have a very curvy hips, very wide hips, low-rise trousers are a no-no for you. Instead, go for a mid-rise or high-rise trousers because that will define your waist and also enhance your silhouette. You want to stay away from boyfriend jeans or anything too baggy. Also, you avoid pleats, that's an embellishment, or pockets around the hips area, like combat style. For a perfect jeans, simple and clean styles such as classic boots, wide leg, flared, loose fitting, and slightly tampered jeans styles also work well for the hourglass. Your jeans should be mid or high rise to elongate the legs. You can definitely go for a nice pair of skinny jeans. I know most hourglass do have problems finding a perfect pair of jeans, so getting a tailor is something you should consider doing because there are chances that you've experienced some difficulties getting a jeans that fits, that actually fits you. Since you do have a small waist and there is a lot of gaping going on at the back, you need a tailor that can help you take in the waist area so that your jeans can fit perfectly. You can always try these tips. When shopping for a jeans or trouser, make sure the waist of the jeans or trouser is smaller than the hips. You don't want to go for a jeans that is straight from the waist to the hips. And for your skirt, go for those that fall from the waist rather than sit on your hips. And your skirt should be high-waisted to alight your small waist 
without adding too much bulk to the bottom. You want to go for pencil skirts, gold skirts. This will clinch to the body and come in at the waist. Also to make your waist appear smaller, opt for voluminous skirts like full circles and tulip skirts. Another skirt that flatters your body type is bias skirt, a-line skirt, and flip skirt. And your best aim line is knee length or longer. Shorter skirts draw attention away from the waist, while the longer length show off legs while still accentuating the waist area. Avoid straight skirts, bossy skirts. Also keep away from skirts with ruffles, darts, big voluminous pockets, and any skirt with embellishment around the hips. If you want to go for a skirt with embellishment around the hips, you will have to balance them with details around the chest. Your coat or jacket should follow the natural body line and draw in towards the waist. Opt for jackets that don't add extra volume to the waist, like single-breasted jackets, form-fitting jackets, and belted jackets. Crop jackets will do your curves justice, and fitted button under the bust blazer will look fab. Your jacket should end at the waist and a short jacket that stops just above your hips will accentuate your curves. Avoid straight styles, bossy styles, baggy boyfriends, jackets, swing coats and drop waisted coats. When it comes to shoe, go for curvy shoes to complement your curvy figure. Like Pepto's high heels will give you instant glamour or rounded toe shoes will suit your shape. I know you might be asking yourself, how do I know the right fabrics even though I follow all these guidelines? So here is a bonus tip I promise you at the beginning comes in. And for your fabrics, simply flood your curves with silk, satin, leather, jersey fabrics, spandex fabrics, cotton, stretchy fabrics, stuff cleaning fabrics and flowing fabrics and pretty much everything except any heavy or stiff material that will ruin your look. I would say celebrities with this hourglass shape are Christina Hendricks, Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, Tara Banks, Marina Morin, Blake Lively, and Sophia Vergara. It's good if you can Google them, see how, see how they dress and create a mood board of their looks. Not every looks anyways, but the ones you like you can always get an inspiration from their looks. And always know that what matters most is what looks good on you, what makes you comfortable, and what flatters your own body. Every item in your wardrobe should work to clearly define your curvy shape. So love and embrace your curves and make the most of them. If you're an hourglass and you have different tips or you dress differently, please, you can write it down in the comment below because I would like to learn more. Ladies, I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please do me a favor, let me know in the comments and also give me a thumbs up. I will put the link to the video on how to determine your body shape in the description box below. Also, if you are interested, I have a lookbook on each of the five body types images of what to wear and what not to wear. You can easily download it on your mobile phone. That will make your shopping so easy. You can click the link below the description to purchase it if you want. Like this video and share it to your friends on Facebook, Twitter and social platform. I'm sure there are many people out there that will find it helpful. And if you are not yet part of the family, please consider doing so, especially if you like this video by subscribing. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new video. I do promise to bring you an amazing content that can actually help you build your styling confidence. And one last thing, I would love to stay in touch with you in between videos. So reach out to me. I'm on all social platforms. It's your girl, Benita. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye.